This is Twit. Google has spent the last couple of years promoting this notion of a privacy sandbox in Chrome, which sounds wonderful. And they had a technology called Flock, which was going to replace third-party cookies, uh, which are used to track users across the internet, with a proprietary Google technology that would track users across the internet. Because I just established that 81% of Google's revenues come from advertising. And the way they make money is to track you around the internet and sell that information to advertisers. That's literally their business, <laughs> like in a nutshell. And um, this doesn't, it's not something that markets well. So they've been trying to find this way to continue tracking you, but make it sound like a good thing, you know? And mm -hmm. uh, basically everyone hated Flock. So uh, every browser maker on earth, except for Microsoft, by the way, um, promised that they would block Flock. <laughs> so... Uh, which would limit the effectiveness of Google's coming ad, new ad network called Skynet. <laughs> also not true, but anyway. Um, and so Google has retrenched and they're going to come out with something called Topics instead. And Topics is a fun new word that means flock. <laughs> it's basically the same thing, right? So the idea here is that Google wants their browser and other browsers to track you as you move around the internet so they can share that information with advertisers. And the way that tracker or the topics differs from flock is actually fairly minimal uh it basically sets up a a set of interests that you have based on your activities on the internet and so it gives that information to advertisers so predictably uh the more aggressive of the uh, browser makers so far uh brave being number one obviously every time and then vilvaldi have both said have both come out against topics i would imagine opera apple with safari I don't know about Microsoft, but Mozilla, certainly, they're big on privacy. We'll come out against this as well. Um, I, I don't know what to say. I mean, I feel like we, if you use Google Chrome, you need to be using extensions that block trackers like this. Mm -hmm. If you're not using Google Chrome, you also need to be using <laughs> blockers, that, you know, that are blockers to trackers like this. Some of them have some built-in capabilities, uh, Brave and Mozilla, for sure. But... Um, this is just a weird turn of events. Like, I don't know. I don't, they just basically have gone public with this notion that like, look, we want to track you, but we want it to be fun. You know, and there, there are people who, <laughs> I well, like it's that. like, that kind of how I, it is, but, yeah. but people, there are some people who hear this and say, well, yeah, but if I'm going to see advertising on the internet, at least it's personalized. <laughs> it's like, guys, why? What? <laughs> Why would you? What are you talking about? You know, we've all had that that creepy moment, like you and I are on a phone call and we're talking about mm -hmm. some kind of a washer dryer setup that Samsung makes or whatever. And then for some reason, for the next week on the New York Times, that's the only ad I see, mm -hmm. even though we were talking about it, <laughs> right? And you, yeah. you want this to be personalized? I mean, I I, yeah. I don't know. So I don't know yeah, I, that is an ongoing. I I do keep hearing that where folks are saying, you know, I, I would rather have. Um, I think it was actually Leo who said something along the lines like, "I'd I'd rather have ads that matter to me than to have ads for barbed wire because I don't buy barbed wire." Mm -hmm. And See, I think you should have ads for barbed wire because you don't need barbed wire, and there's one less thing you're buying for no reason whatsoever. Yeah, I so I fall more into that camp. I, I really do. Um, yeah. The the problem, of course, is that this, for example, is is an ad supported network, and I it works a little different, right. of course. Right. Um, but I can't. I guess I can't be too. Um, too well, but down hold on a second. Let's on, let, this cuts. To, okay, but this 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 cuts to the heart of the matter. Mm -hmm. um, you are an ad supported network, but you also offer an ad free version where people can pay for the product and not have the ads. Mm -hmm. um, the, uh, related to this only somewhat this week, Wordle, the, suddenly the biggest game in the world, was purchased by the New York Times of some seven-figure number they're not going to disclose. The New York Times is the worst possible outcome for this thing because the New York Times <laughs> has the model where you have to pay to access their content and you still get ads. You know, if Google offered an option through Chrome where you could pay, uh, who knows what the amount would be, I don't know, some amount per month or per year not to see ads right um i actually think that would be a successful business model as long as it was the option like what you're doing and i do this on my own website i mean not me personally but the company that owns my site does this offers an option where you can pay and not see ads or you don't have to pay obviously and the content's free but there will be ads and i, I to me that's 
that's a common sense middle ground. At least you have both options. Um, right now, the the way the web works is it, we just we, we we act like it's free, you know, and because we're not really paying, but we are paying, aren't we? I mean, and it, it, and if anything, we're paying with our souls in a way. It is creepy to see that the ads come up about things that you maybe you searched for or talked about or whatever it might be. That's creepy, but it's worse mm -hmm. than creepy, isn't it? It's a surveillance state. It's spyware. This would be illegal. Mary Jo, I'm curious about your thoughts. Because <laughs> I, I, I do I do agree to a certain extent. And honestly, not even necessarily for myself, but in the ongoing conversations that I have with people I very much care about who have genuine concern that their phone is listening with the microphone or by walking into right. a house that has a certain thing that it's listening to them. And then you try to explain the way that it actually works. And that gets a little bit too nebulous for, for you know, the, the yeah, non-tech person. Then you go home and really. you get an ad for this thing that will block this, the, the surveillance thing that's in this other guy's exactly. house. <laughs> you, yeah, exactly. Like, Wait, how did that happen? Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Uh, Mary Jo, how are you on, how do you feel about uh, the, the ad stuff? I'm curious. So um, I, I'm somebody who thinks we've all given up our privacy for convenience. Um, yeah. And I know that's not something a lot of people like to admit, but that's how I feel about things. Like whenever I get ads, even if they're very um, personalized and I don't know how they get personalized, I'm like, you know what? I decided to use the web or I decided to like search for something that might've been tangentially related. And so, okay, my data's out there. I accept all cookies. I do all the things you're not supposed to do because I'm like, I just want to get this over with quick, accept the cookies. I don't care. Like, blah. I, I just don't expect to have privacy and I've kind of come to grips with that. Hmm. Hmm. I, hmm. so I still do, advocate for and do my best to strive for um, a certain level of privacy. And I don't think that yeah. we should get to a place where we end up letting uh, companies Giving just sort up. of... Yeah. yeah How exactly. close are you to that dog park again? Would you say it's... Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I'm, I'm not saying anything else about the dog park. Um... <laughs> if I was standing but... in the dog park and I was facing, I don't know, west... <laughs> Would you be able to see me waving my hand? <laughs> yeah. um, but, okay, so this is the interesting thing. We had someone on um, Tech News Weekly last week to talk about uh, Flock versus Topics and the yeah. the difference between the two. And um, I, I said the same thing, that they, or I asked, rather, they seem like they're pretty much the same thing. What is the difference? And um, right. the one thing that Google added to make it a little bit different is the human element of it, where these topics are actually selected by human beings. Um, wow. So the, the cohorts, instead of being done by uh, AI, are instead selected by human beings. And I said, do we know what human beings, which human beings, how many human right. beings are in charge of this? So what kind of pro... Right. We don't know really the internal Well, they had to do with something with the Gmail topics. man guy. He has been unemployed for several years. <laughs> He's yeah, still around. Exactly, right? exactly. Yeah. Um, versus Flock, which had, because it was yeah. AI, there were so many subsets of, of groups. Mm -hmm. These cohorts could get pretty small. And yes. um, if that is, topics would be more general. But, but yeah, again, it's a big but. Yeah, it's, it's all, it, that's all still the same thing. I just wonder though, if we're looking at third-party cookies, the way things that are done right now, the tracking that takes place versus this more generalized approach, right. I think I would have, I would rather be less identifiable than more identifiable, yeah. yep. but, but and, um, go ahead. I can't point you to an exact data source for this, but my understanding is that long ago, it was determined that non-contactual advertising was just as effective as contactual advertising. And it's a lot easier. You know, it's basically like the, the spam mail you get still some days still in your mailbox, you know, just the, we're just going to throw this out to everybody. Mm -hmm. um, so they're going to all this. This is the computer industry in a nutshell. This is so Microsoft too. I'm surprised they're not more involved in this. It's like, just we'll spend a lot of time looking at telemetry data until we get the result we want. And then we'll use that as the justification for some crazy <laughs> AI based scheme to sell you hair tonic or, you know, fruit water mm -hmm. or whatever it is. 
because for some reason you showed some interest in that. Uh, God, I, does everyone? I mean, seriously, so you do a go. It's like um, you know, this is as dumb as I buy my mother a book for her birthday on Amazon, and then I start getting recommendations on Amazon yeah. based on a book for yeah. an older woman that is not the mm -hmm. type of thing I'm interested in. Like, there's yeah. no, th there's there is computer science behind that. It's just deeply flawed, you know. Yeah, and I I don't. I, I don't understand why people would want this kind of thing. It just doesn't make sense to me. Yeah. Yeah. I. Nobody the, wants it. Nobody wants it, right? Like, I mean, they've well, yeah, they're resigned to it. To they're resigned you, to it. There you right? go. Resigned. They're, um, well, yeah, it's like when, you know, Google Maps is, is uh, such a necessary thing. It's incredible to me that I went anywhere on this earth by myself on a piece of paper showing me directions, right? I would never go yeah. back to that. But even Google Map, you know, look at Google Maps, looking at the surface of it has become a vector for spam. It just shows me yep. places that businesses have paid They're to similar. be placed on the map instead of the things yep. I'm looking for. I had a problem. We were away for a couple of weeks looking for, I had pinned things explicitly so I could find them. And I was shown other restaurants instead of the ones I knew I wanted to go to mm -hmm. because those businesses oh. paid for that. And it's yep. like, okay, I mean, what am I going to, what am I, I know. And some people are like, Paul, what are you complaining about? It's a free service. I, Yep. <laughs> uh, yeah. What I'm saying is, uh, it, it, there needs to be, there should be a better way. And I know a paid option isn't for everybody, um, mm -hmm. but there are things that I think are valuable enough that I would certainly, and there are because there are literally things that I pay for that are valuable to me. I would pay for this stuff to be better if I could, and I wish that was an option. Yeah, an option. There you go. I think that's mm -hmm. the thing: is that having one or the other. Yeah. That's where the complication comes in. I, you know, want to be incredibly aware of folks who are not able to necessarily make that per month expenditure. But if you're able to, to have that option is is good. Um, By the way, um, you mentioned your the company you work for, and I mentioned the company I work for in advertising and everything. I mean, in a, in a way, there's some targeting, you know, the notion that someone who's listening to a show about Windows or Google or the Mac or whatever is probably interested in technology, and a lot of these advertisers are going to be tech-based or whatever. A lot of them aren't, <laughs> you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, in many ways, but there's no targeting of individuals. Like, how horrible would our worlds be if that's what the ads were on all these things we're creating? Like, literally going after each person individually as they hit your podcast or your website or whatever it might, your YouTube channel or whatever. You're not seeing, like, the... The ad that everyone sees, like when you watch the Super Bowl, you're seeing the ad that's for you. We mm -hmm. noticed you were searching for some embarrassing medical thing, maybe, or some whatever it was. And now that's what you start seeing everywhere around the world. Like, this is yeah. not, is this clearly, yeah. isn't this clearly not the way? <laughs> yeah. I um, I, in fact, it was to, to I will just say this. Um, the, I have realized a couple of times where a social media network has made certain assumptions about me um, yeah. and used those assumptions to serve me ads that fall into stereotypical categories. Mm -hmm. And yep. it, that that's not cool. That's not okay. Right. That's not... Uh, yeah. and, it's and, not, and it's you not know. just not sophisticated. It's inappropriate. Mm -hmm. and it's, it's inappropriate. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. 